fans, welcome back to a uh, game of vanilla Minecraft with MCMMO on Banished Wings. Takes me a little bit to say that. Um, tonight I am working on the bridge. It is after dark, so I've been running into a little bit of trouble with the mobs. <laughs> oh, it is dark. It is uh, daytime out. If you saw my last episode, you saw that my son built this really, really cool... Um, little thing and in the episode it's a little campfire so you can see in the episode in which he built this um, okay maybe I gotta right click there we go when you right click it puts the fire out and it's just this cool little campfire build in the episode in which I featured this thing um, I actually linked to the tutorial to show you how to so if you'd like to build one for yourself you can uh, look at that video and I gotta get away from these chickens, they're gonna drive me crazy. Um, yeah, if you look at that video, you can see the tutorial he used to uh, to build it. So yeah, that was a really cool little build. And I'm gonna head back out here. I've been taking down uh, what was left of our air bridge and uh, making it back on the ground where it belongs. I didn't like it up high, so I... Uh, Zombie. Hang on. Okay. Keep on going. My son came up and interrupted me, so I had to stop there for a second. Um, <laughs> you can see the chat. There being a bunch of goofballs over here, uh, which you know happens occasionally. And you can see I got quite a bit done. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of time building on on uh, camera. So I got quite a lot of this done before I came back. Um, I'm going to still add some more sides so I don't get knocked off the bridge every time a spider comes along, which is what just happened a few minutes ago. Um, while I was up here trying to add the uh, rest of the cobble in. So I just got to add a few more uh, cobble fences. But yeah, we've pretty much got our birch belt. <laughs> I'm half watching the chat and half recording, so I might miss a few things, but yeah, they're, they're just, there's a chicken hanging out on our bridge. So yeah, this is our bridge that leads out to the plains biome. You can see there's some horses still out here. That's a chicken, whoops, and I just jumped off a cliff. That wasn't very smart. We have quite a few horses. I don't think I'm going to collect any more unless I find some really good ones. What on earth? Oh, it's a horse. <laughs> saw something moving over there. I wasn't sure what it was. Um, there's only a few left out here. I don't know if we're going to keep all the ones we have. Um, they're not all tamed, actually, the ones that are in the stable. And we may go through them and pick the ones that are the better, um, stronger, and, and faster horses and uh, choose which ones we're actually going to keep and which ones will turn out loose on the plains again for other people to catch. Um, there's a couple of uh, uh, a couple of donkeys out here. There's another white horse. We have um, uh, one horse, or a white horse. Already. I have not been on for a couple days. Um, as I mentioned in the vanilla uh, episode that I put up yesterday, uh, my modem had broken, so I didn't have internet for a few days, and that kind of threw my schedule off. I did write myself up a new schedule, a work schedule that will allow me to um, be creating a new video every day. So e at least each of the series will get updated once a week or so, and hopefully a little more often than that, depending on my work schedule. Uh, my car decided to break down at the same time as my uh, uh, as my modem, so <laughs> now I really have to get a lot of work done to help pay for the repairs. Um, so yeah. You know, rather than try to find my way home, because now I've gotten myself a little mixed up, I'm just going to do the uh, teleport home thing. Um, since the last time I recorded, I actually built a little uh, place here within... Oh, gosh, I can't get through the door. There we go. Um, you can see I'm growing some nether wart in here. 
for potion making because I've moved my potions um, over here into the house. And you can see I've been... Uh, these are my splash potions because I do intend to um, get some more zombies and turn them into villagers um, here at, at the house at, at my uh, base. The villagers that I have at the shop, I intend to, when I trade with them, those things go in the shop. Those aren't for um, for everyday use. Those are shop things, so I'm going to keep some things here. Um, the poison potions, well, i got to make them, <clears throat> excuse me, make those into splash potions, but I thought I might put those in my shop. Um, you know, that's, that's the whole idea of having the, the potion things here, um, is that, oh, Eric's been my son has been online and he got some prismarine stuff he's been out water breathing he, I think he made some too though um, I had some water breathing potions but I think he made some as well um, I know he was doing some fishing and, and stuff here so yeah anyway um, that's our our little potion set up I do intend to make some more potions as you can see we still have all our our horses and Joe's still having his little house party. All my, all my uh, cow buddies hanging out. He's trying to go in the house, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> don't need any cows in the house. Grief. I actually had a goat in my house once. Um, in real life, I had a uh, real life goat that um, he'd actually been attacked by some neighborhood dogs and uh, was injured, and we brought him into the house. He was in my house for about three weeks, recovering. It was it was interesting. He was in the laundry room, and uh, yeah. And one morning I came downstairs, and he was standing in the kitchen looking at me like, "Hey, what's for breakfast?" So yeah, that's when I knew it was time for him to go back out to the barn. <laughs> it was interesting, to say the least. All right, my daughter has collected herself a couple of uh, horses, so she put them in the stalls. Um, if you see her online, she's Binks uh, 133, and she, the ones that she caught, she put in the in the stalls so she could uh, keep them separate. And like I said, some of these we may take back over to the field, um, depending on, you know, once we uh, try them out and see how they are for strength and speed, um, we'll decide which ones to keep and uh, which ones we don't actually need. We have a lot of horses. That's one of the other things I want to do is set up a um, a jump station over the other in the field. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're just been kind of kind of putzing around. Didn't get a whole lot done. Um, like I said, I haven't been online much, so it's been kind of difficult for me to get much done. Oh my goodness, those chickens are crazy. You may recall that uh, my son's friend Brian has built <laughs> built a little house up here. Doesn't look like he's done much with it yet. Um, yeah, just I don't know if he's been online. I, well, like I said, I wasn't online, so oh yeah, he's got some he's got some fence built. Looks like he's making himself a little uh, something tree farm, I guess. Some kind of farm. <laughs> My son would know. He's the he's the hoppers and, and nonsense expert. I'm guessing that's a tree farm. Um, yeah. Anyway. And uh, this is our little tree farm. Uh, I'll harvest some trees just because we're out here and see. Uh, oh, it wore off already. Um, I have a wood cutting skill, but it wears off rather quickly. Fortunately, I hear a zombie, but he's probably up on the hill here behind me somewhere. So I don't worry too much about him until I actually see him. I should probably put a fence across that top of that hill to keep the mobs from coming down here. So yeah. I hear him growling, carrying on. I don't know where he's at. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Zombies aren't much of a nuisance. 
creepers are a bigger pain than zombies. So yeah, you probably saw in my vanilla uh, video how much I love creepers. Because they come up and, you know, blow big holes in my fences and just generally make a nuisance to themselves. We'll see how our trees do today with, uh... <laughs> Somebody likes our turtle shop. That's pretty funny. I have to get some more potions in there. Um, I'm not going to have time to do it tonight. I'd like to, but I'm, j I'm just not going to have time. Uh, I do have a couple of deadlines that are overdue. If any of my editors actually see my YouTube videos, they probably won't be too pleased to see that I'm making YouTube videos instead of uh, getting my things done that I need to do. So I won't be doing a very long video tonight, unfortunately. I was really hoping for more saplings. Let's see how many we got. Oh, 11. That's not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Come on, plant. There we go. At least enough to replant our, our trees that we took down. And then some. I would eventually like to expand this farm out a little more. Um, but several of the shops are selling wood now, so... Uh, I'm not super keen on um, making a huge tree farm. That zombie is pretty annoying. I wish I knew where he was hanging out. Oh, there's another sapling. Oh no, I can't get it. Well, that's lame. There. I don't see the zombie. I don't know where he's hanging out. Hmm. Sure, a noisy bugger. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's been going on. There's not not a whole lot. Um, like I said, we got this bridge just about done, so we can go over to the plains biome now whenever we want to. And I do intend to get the uh, get those jumps set up so we can test the horses. It might be convenient to have a set here, but I don't know um, where I would put it. As you can see, our uh, our space is, unless I cleared some of the trees out of the woods. Oh, I hear a spider. Aye! Aye, you rotten spider! Bring it! Where'd you go? Oh, sure, you knocked me down here, and then you don't even... F oh, goodness. Yeah, see? See that? I stopped to say hi to somebody coming online. <laughs> and, uh, that spider knocked me right off the roof. Where'd he go? Oh, hi! Hi, there's the zombie. What's up, dude? There, go away. Lousy zombies. Come here, spider. Jerk, you don't get to knock me off the roof and then run away. There. Take care of the both of you, buggers. Yeah, obviously I need to get more fencing um, going on here. So yeah, there's like I said, I, I don't have a whole lot to talk about or to do today because I just haven't planned anything. I just kind of wanted to uh, touch base and, and uh, let you guys know that I'm still alive. Ooh, there comes a creeper. Bye-bye. <laughs> You guys all know how much I love creepers. There, take that. I'll run away. <laughs> um, so anyway. I don't even see where he went. But he's not over here blowing me up, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, yikes, keep hurting myself. Um, I can't get over how cool this is. Hey! Really? 
Jeez. He's trying to run a peaceful no, video over here. There's a zombie or something burning in our yard. Can I come out and see that? Campfire. Uh, I like to use a bucket of water, collect the crops. It's just a much simpler way of harvesting. Here, I'll showcase that. I can't remember if I did that last time when I was on on a video here, so I'll just show you how that works if I haven't already. It's just a really simple. Um, the water breaks uh, the crops, and then you just pick them up. So it's really simple. Saves you a lot of a lot of manual harvesting. Um, that's actually what this block right here is for. It's just to um, set water against. Well, as you can see, it's pretty effective. Not going on right now. I will uh, try to get another episode up really soon. Um, I would have ordinarily, Banished Wings would have been my uh, normal thing to put up today, but my car decided to break down and I spent most of the day at the mechanics, and I won't even bore you with all the details of that nonsense, but um, what it comes down to is I'm actually really lucky that we uh, figured it out when we did, because it was a pretty nasty problem and it would have been it was actually a tie rod that was very close to breaking and that's that's a really bad thing if your tie rod breaks your wheel goes sideways and then your car generally flips or you know does bad things like that so um so yeah i mean it stinks because it was an expensive fix but it's it's fixed and it's now it's safe which is always a good thing I'd rather not have my car flip over while I'm driving. I, you know, I kind of prefer to keep it on its wheels. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why I'm so distracted and, and not doing a really good uh, job of the video tonight, is I'm just kind of exhausted from sitting in the mechanics all day. Uh, but like I said, it's all fixed, and hopefully I will be right back on schedule tomorrow. I think I'm due to um, record an episode of B-Team, and the day after that will be a new tutorial, and actually I think I'm either going to do the cats and dogs or the hostile mobs, depending on my mood, um, whether I feel like destroying a whole load of hostile mobs or uh, playing around with cats and dogs. So, um, either way, they'll, you know, they should be a fun, uh, should be a fun tutorial uh, to do, and I think I may do some tutorials. I've seen people asking things like how to make a hopper, and, and so I may do some more advanced tutorials. I'm not going to try to get into the redstone, only because I'm not very expert at it. And um, my son is, and I may try to get him to um, do some things with it. So you might want to look for those in the future. He's, like I said, he's the, the redstone addict, and he's um, the one that, that created our really cool little campfire out here, so um, I might try to get him to do some uh, building tutorials. He's, like I said, he's much more advanced than I am, so um, he can show you how to do some really cool things. So, so yeah, that's, um, I think I'm going to call that an episode, and I, I'm sorry it wasn't more exciting and there wasn't a whole lot going on, but uh, I just wanted to touch base and just kind of give you an idea of what's, you know, what we've been up to. Uh, maybe next episode we'll do some exploring and caving and things because there's there's always you know more fun things to do out in the caves and so on and you know than gathering resources. This creeper looks like he needs a hug, so I might just have to go over there and give him one with my sword. <laughs> I about had it with creepers today. I got blown up earlier. I was in a very good mood. Ah, yeah. Okay. We'll go sit peacefully around the campfire. <laughs> Creepers can get their own hugs. <laughs> I've had it with I've had it with creepers. I really have. Um, if, you, if you see my uh, vanilla video, um, yeah, I got blown up pretty good by one. And I'm trying to think. I'm I don't know if it was the one I uploaded today or the one that I have in process that I will be uploading. But um, one of them, 
I had a creeper come right up to the front of the house uh, just as I was trying to end the video and blew up right in front of my house. So yeah, that was uh, it was interesting. That was in my vanilla series where they do do block damage, and he did quite a bit of block damage. So um, it was it was just an interesting day. So I'm gonna call that an episode, but and I'm gonna get away from these chickens before they drive me absolutely crazy. Um, but I really like the sunsets over here. It's really a uh, really cool sunset that we get going on here by the campfire. Just makes a nice scene. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll get another uh, I'll get another episode up soon, and we will see you then. So thanks for watching. Bye.